Hello guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So I just updated AIMatic and added support for Azure OpenAI DALI 3 images to it. So you will be able to use Azure OpenAI DALI 3 to generate these nice looking images like this one. So first of all, to make this work, you will need to go to the plugins main settings and go to the API keys tab. Here you will have to switch to Azure if you want to use Azure as an API source. Add your API key endpoint. And it is very, very important that your API key endpoint currently needs to be in Sweden Central. So this is um, currently Azure supports DALI 3 only on Sweden Central endpoints. Uh, end so you will need to create a resource and here you will need to write OpenAI. Maybe in the future this changes, however, currently this is required. So here Op Azure OpenAI is listed. Click Create Azure OpenAI. And it is very, very important that you select a region Sweden Central because Sweden Central currently has the DALI 3 models available. Other regions might not have this available. So each region will have different set of API endpoints and the Sweden Central one currently is the one with full uh, endpoints. Here you will find also GPT-4. Okay, so you can create a new resource group or select one, give it a name. Sweden test, pricing tier standard S0, and review create. And after the stuff work, you can click create it again. And uh, <clears throat> after a couple of minutes, because deployment here might take a couple of minutes to finish because currently it is in progress, you will be able to start using AIMatic together with Azure DALI 3. So let's wait this out until this is uh, processing. We will be working in uh, AIMatic to check what we will need to change. So keep in mind that API keys tab in the main settings menu, change to Azure. Here you will need to enter the endpoint that will be current, that will be provided here. So your deployment is complete. We can go to resource. And here we will be able to check keys and endpoints and everything we need to do is here. So copy this endpoint and paste it here in the Azure OpenAI endpoint. So it will be changed and also copy one of the API keys that you want to use and paste it here. Okay, now we will be able to save settings. So save settings in this menu. And for testing, I recommend that you go to the AI Playground. But before you do anything in the DALI free image generator, you will need to deploy DALI free as a deployment. So go to model deployments, manage deployments. And here, if you created your uh, Azure deployment, you will not have anything yet. So click Create New Deployment. And in the Model Selector, as you can see, GPT-4 available, just select DALI 3. Auto Update to Default, Deployment Name. This is important, give it a name. My DALI 3. And click Create. After this is created, you will be able to use the plugin successfully. So now let's write here a cat and simply click submit. And uh, deployment does not exist. So because we created the deployment just now, it seems that we will have to wait a couple of um, maybe seconds, minutes for this deployment to be propagated through their systems. 
So let's wait this out and uh, let's try again. A cat. And it seems that it's working now. The deployment has been propagated between uh, the Azure OpenAI architecture and systems and now it will be working. So we will be able to wait this out until it is fully generated and available. Okay, so we should see a very pretty and good looking and cute little kitty here. So this was generated with Dolly Free using uh, Azure OpenAI API and services. Okay, so this is the method you will be able to use Dolly Free on uh, AIMatic. And if you have any ideas, suggestions, let me know in the comments. This is all for today. Like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Until next time, bye-bye.